Alrighty, well it is time now for the weekend rundown, helping you plan for the weekend ahead. And there's a lot happening this weekend and joining us is Danny from the Luke and Howe Morning Show on hello. WLLR. Good morning, Danny. <laughs> Good morning, David. Good morning, Charles. Hello, Good to hello. see you guys. Yes, I know it's you. been a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There is so much happening this weekend yes, and is. I'm going to start with a fun event and it's Galena Oktoberfest. So let's take a look here. So this is happening Saturday, and this is the 16th time that they've done this. It's beginning at noon with a cannon blast. And there's gonna be, of course, the tapping of the keg, polka music, and then there's gonna be a wiener dog race, more polka music, Love that. dance lessons, non-stop live music, I'm told, and games for adults and for kids. It's $10 for adults and teens, and then it's free for kids 12 and under. It runs from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m., and that's happening at Depot Park. And I just, I mean, it's very fitting for today. I know that that's happening on Saturday, but it's National Beer Day today. Exactly. So I'm just like, <laughs> I just feel like it's all kind of like the stars aligned today. Oktoberfest is a very good beer, so. <laughs> oh. And wiener dog races. Good yeah, I'm that'll be cute. Great. That'll be cute. <laughs> yes. All righty. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the School of Rock performance happening at the Spotlight Theater. And so this is actually based on the hit movie. The two-hour show is on September 29th and 30th at 7 p.m. And there's four more dates following those two performances in October. And just like I said a couple minutes, a couple seconds ago, there it's at the Spotlight Theater in Moline, and I love a, that movie. Yes, I love <laughs> the movie. I'd love to see the performance as well, and just I mean, goodness, just kind of rock out with it. Absolutely, and of course, I want you, I want you both to remember this: Rock okay. got no reason, Rock got no rhyme. Better get me to school on time. I think that's <laughs> like one of Jack Black's like best movies ever. Oh, oh my god! I, yeah, no, I've watched it multiple times. More definitely, than I definitely top five for me <laughs> so, for sure. Absolutely. Oh yeah. But you're talking about a very tasty event happening in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Yes, you guys. I'm a sucker for a fireman's fundraiser, and <laughs> we are when too. you put Here we go. yes, and when you put pancakes in it, I'm just I'm like all over it. Making me hungry. So <laughs> yes, and I know, and I come from a long line of fire people. Um, my grandfather, my dad. My uncle, they were all volunteer firemen for our hometown, as well as serving as chief uh, of the uh, fire department for uh, several years. So I come from a long legacy uh, of fire people. So I like to uh, support them. So Charlotte Fire Department, Sunday from 7 a.m. until 12.30, they're gonna be serving up pancakes and all the fixins. Uh, so it's a $10 donation, five bucks for kids. And right there at the fire station, you just can't go wrong. Right. And these Absolutely. these fundraisers are, they, you know, a, a pancake fundraiser may not seem like it's a big thing, but yeah. a lot of these smaller fire departments, like, this is like a huge oh, portion of their yeah. budget yeah. to, like, get new uniforms or get new equipment. So it's it's very a big, important. Big event them. for them. So, and it sounds like it'll yeah, be a fun. Very event. much so. Oh, my gosh. But yes. And there's oh, okay. also an educational event happening at Riverside. Yes. We're disguising it as a spooky event. Okay. <laughs> but but yes, it is. It's it's highly educational, especially if you want to teach yourself or your kids a little bit about the history of the Quad Cities. Because over at the Riverside Cemetery, they're going to have what's called Echoes of oh, Riverside, yeah. which of course is the cemetery, and mm -hmm. so you get to walk yeah, through and on. see people um, acting out or answering questions about their character from. Moline's history, so very cool. Um, and it, you get to walk through the cemetery. So very, very cool event for this time of the year. It's happening on Saturday from one until three and the first tour does leave right at one o'clock. Now, where do you meet? At the mausoleum, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh. We were just looking at video of a yeah. uh, like last year, yeah. and it's just you know it is it is an awesome event to be able to kind of do that because you're able to yeah. learn about some of the you know, big names of the Quad Cities, mm -hmm. you know, John Deere and, and things like that. You're able to like learn about the people that are behind mm -hmm. all of that. So yeah, no, so absolutely. It's fascinating. History yeah. is so cool. Oh. It is. Well, thank you so much, Danny, for joining us again thank this you, week. Danny. And I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. You guys too. Celebrate and we'll get to those 90s really quick. I think my air conditioner is just going to retire though for this year. <laughs> yeah, same. We'll have to Give crack a cold one first. Yeah. <laughs> Right on. <laughs> All right, enjoy that Oktoberfest. All right. <laughs> and here's a look at